Hi there, my name is Rufus Deutschler, Design Evangelist at Adobe Systems. If you want to be on the fast track with Adobe Illustrator, you need to know about how gradients work. Gradients can be very useful for a background color or to simply color objects that need some sort of a three-dimensional aspect to them. But before we look at the gradients tool, which is over here in my tools, uh, we need to check out all of the different gradients that co actually come with Illustrator by default. And we would find those inside of the swatches panel. If we go here in the menu, I can open a swatch library and go over here to gradients. And we see that we have a whole bunch of different uh, gradient families, water, wood, foliage, fades, earth tones, color harmonies, or even color combinations. Let's choose color harmonies and open that panel right here. Then I can choose one of those color harmonies and apply it, of course, to my artwork. Let's take a rectangle. Let's draw a rectangle on the artboard here and we will have that uh, color harmony automatically displayed inside of that drawing. So let's close this for a second and uh, look at the gradient tool now. The gradient tool allows me to actually tweak that gradient very, very easily. This is called the gradient annotator. As soon as I hover over it, we see that we have access to the different gradient stops, okay? The beginning one, the end one, and the midpoint here. And then I can also change the midpoints of the gradient itself. I can make the first one much shorter, for example. And let's take this author here, the gradient stop here, and move it to the right, okay? And then by double-clicking on the gradient stop, I can even choose another color. For example, this one, all right? Radically changing the appearance of my gradient. And I can do that, of course, with, my, uh, with the swatches I have available in my swatches panel, or simply choose a color and create it right here. Now, the other interesting thing about this uh, gradient annotator is that when I hover over it on the side here, you see that my cursor changes to a little rotation tool. And this allows me to very, very quickly actually rotate the gradient into any direction I want. Okay, so I can really define the direction of the gradient directly here from the gradient annotator. Let's command Z out of that and go back to my original gradient. Because another thing I wanted to show you um, uh, when it comes to color is this little button up here, which is very, very useful. This button allows me to actually recolor the artwork. Here we have a gradient with three different colors, okay? But you can do that with any uh, graphic you are actually coloring in Illustrator. So let's click this little button here and go to the recolor artwork window. And especially in the edit view here, I can now go in here and actually change the colors themselves and actually have the ability to change the colors directly here on the color wheel. And you can see that these colors are actually changing also here in the background. So using the gradient annotator and also the ability to actually recolor the artwork right here from my control panel up here in Adobe Illustrator makes it really, really easy for me to create um, uh, backgrounds to my illustrations or to simply color objects that may have uh, the need for a 3D kind of textures to them. This is what gradients are for. So, ready, set, and go create with gradients in Adobe Illustrator.